Browns people. I'm over at Butler Park in um, Camp Verde. I came here to reminisce a little bit about my youth. I used to live on Butler Road here and uh, it looked over the, the park and I did a lot of homeschooling over here. It was fun. It was really good. I also visited the church that I used to go to and and also the library. They actually got a new building for the library like two years ago, but I remember when they were asking for donations like 10 years ago for that building. Well, it's finally there. And it's a nice building too. Pretty good. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Well, on Thursday, there was this movie called Unplanned. Thursday was its last day in theaters. And I believe that anyone who has a conscience to go see it, even if it is outside of theaters, I'm sure it's on Netflix or something. Um, but Unplanned, it's a really good, it's a really good movie. Just for anybody who wants to see. Uh, let's talk about the border, right? Mm. The thing is, with illegal immigrants and whatnot, I'll let you in on something. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Now, <clears throat> I say, if you want to live here, be my guest and become a citizen. If you're from another country, you know. But um, if you're coming in here without at least a worker's permit or whatever it is, maybe a green card, I'm sorry. It's just... That's not the way to go. Doing things legally is the way to go. I've always thought of it this way. It's like a ladder, okay? God's law is first. Government's law is second. Um, family's law. Hmm. Yeah, family's law is third, and then your own law is last. I would say something like that. Hmm. That's how I see it. So with the border, you know what I think we should do with the illegal immigrants? Either force them to work and get paid or deport them. And it's kind of sad, I know, but what are you going to do, huh? We can't have them, you know, just living here for for nothing. We got to be more like Switzerland. They, um, their government doesn't allow anyone in unless they have skills that their country needs. Or if they're really rich, I guess. Because that is a really rich country. And the crime rates are low, too. Let's talk about gun control, shall we? Everyone in Switzerland knows how to use a gun and owns one too. Their crime rates, their crime rates are very low. And their suicide rates are very low too. All of it is much lower than um than our country, definitely. Hmm. In fact, I don't know if they even have any school shootings. Because everyone owns a gun, right? I'm sure they've got security guards everywhere. If something goes down, the good guys will win. And it's pretty sad to me that our country is going this way, this route. Where people have to, inf you know, the government wants to enforce gun control. 
But the thing is, when you do that, people who get the guns illegally will still happen. You can't stop that, even with gun control. People always find a way to be bad. The only way you can stop them is use the same weapons that they are using. You have to be the enemy to understand the enemy. Of course, I'm not saying... Uh, wonder if that'll turn out wrong. <clears throat> what I'm saying, you have to think like the enemy to defeat the enemy. And the enemy are... Are they even enemies? The only ones that I consider enemies are people that other that hurt other people. Anyway, mentally, physically, anyway. Except for emotionally. Someone gets hurt emotionally, you know. Kind of like care for them and stuff. Tell them that maybe they don't need to be such a sissy. Oh. Because just like Ben Shapiro says... Facts don't care about your feelings. Ah, oh, shoot. Sorry this is in portrait. I just now saw that. Oh, well. Oh. Well, it seems like I have 51 subscribers. I had two of my friends just um, uh, subscribe, so I have to make my new... Uh, I have to make my new intro, which is going to be bomb. It's going to be awesome. Hmm. I think you guys will like it, whoever is watching this. Hmm. Maybe I'll have it out in a week or two. No promises. It's not like I'm making money off of this. Hmm, but that isn't to say I'm not going to try. I'm going to be uploading more videos and stuff, but it's going to be for fun. Because the thing is, I am not making any money off of this. This is an investment that probably will never go anywhere. So I might as well have fun with it, right? It's going to be just as fun as this awesome shirt. Yeah. Kind of an irritating shirt, isn't it? Kind of messes with your eyes. <laughs> I like to do it when I'm bowling. I like to wear it when I'm bowling because bowling is fun. And my shirt is fun. Hmm. Well, let's talk about something else. Marijuana. You know what I think about marijuana? When in Rome... Do as the Romans do. If the government says no smoking it for fun, for recreational use, don't do it. Look, soon enough, it's going to be legalized for all of you people. I just see it that way, okay? You can even look in the stock market. People are thrilled about marijuana right now because... People are getting looser and looser with the law. I mean, the government is getting looser and looser with the law. If it was people getting looser and looser with the law, we'd have chaos. Almost anarchy. But the government always intervenes, right? Oh, I guess that's a good thing. Hmm... You know what I believe? Sure. If you want to smoke it, smoke it. But for medicinal purposes, you know, with your permit and stuff. As long as it's in place where the government rules out smoking it for fun. Do it for actual medical reasons. <sighs> I do believe 
in CBD oil a whole lot more. I gotta say, it seems much better to use that. It's, it's better than smoking at all, because you're putting stuff in your lungs. That's the big thing with me. I don't like putting anything in my lungs. Sure, I have a cigar once in a while. Once in a long while. Like, once every two or three months. Huh. I, I don't smoke that much. I don't like smoking either. Uh, if I go with the insurance company that I will be doing... I probably will stop smoking altogether, though. In fact, what am I saying? I don't even smoke, really. When was the last time I had a cigar? <sighs> yeah, forget it. I don't smoke. And I almost never drink, too. Sometimes I have a cock and bowl ginger beer with some vodka and a squirt of lime over rocks. Yeah. And I also like my gin and tonic. And gin and juice is pretty good, too. Well, my time is up, pretty much. I better get going. I've got some other stuff to do. I love you guys. Have a good day. Take care.